welcome to today's episode of Pain Points of Interest. We're going to be talking about promoting and marketing your new business. So stay tuned. All right, so today's topic is promoting and marketing a new business, um, and we um, found this question or comment from the user on Reddit called JG0, JG0, and they said, how do I promote and market my new business? Recently, an idea that I had begun to work on as a side business, uh, oh, that's not a complete sentence, <laughs> it's uh, quite hands-on, maybe five or six hours to create each product, and I can expand to about 25 hours a week on it at the minute I'm working full time. I'm designing and creating one of one of the pieces featuring lighting. Wow, I can't read this. This is insane. Uh, so essentially, a big showstopper ceiling lights and floor lamps for high-end customers. I'm basically taking vintage automotive wooden items that have never been uh, designed to be lights and make them into lighting, basically. Um, I have an electrical engineering degree and work in the electrical industry at present. My main concern right now is that I've never run a business, so due to this, I have no idea how to get these products out there and how to get them on the radar of my ideal customer. Social media platforms are a great start, however, when it comes to selling home lighting at like $300 plus. It's hard to get many customers from just scrolling past an ad, though. Um, I want to know if it's best starting off with a web page and then trying to promote myself through social media locally and trying to expand from that, or should I create something like an eBay or Etsy store and sell from there? I'm aware that I could do both of these choices at the same time. However, with so much going on for me, I don't think I could manage to run so many different platforms um, and an online store at the same time. The end goal is to try to make this a full-time job, but I obviously know I need to start small and grow from there. Uh, If you were in my shoes, what would you do? Mike? So I have a little bit of experience uh, in the electrical uh, supply and lighting industry. I actually have a significant advantage myself in having the contacts for someone who has a uh, lighting showroom. Um, the, The first thing I would recommend is to get the operational process down. Um, It definitely seems like um, the the core business here is the creation of the product. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, It's probably time consuming. And as an electrical engineer, it appears that this particular individual has a um, uh, an operational approach to the business. They're they're thinking about the products and what they're going to create, and specifically saying that. you know, trying to get, you know, five or six hours to create each project and expand to 25 hours a week. So, so continuing this, this process, if you want to scale a business like this, which is what the end goal would actually be, you know, promoting and marketing the new business ends in scaling it, right? Ensuring that your operational process is, is tight is your first step. Okay. Um, now, I think the interesting thing to hear that they pose that I feel like is probably the main point of this discussion is I don't have a lot of time to be on all the social media platforms. What should I start with first? So if you had to pick, Mike, if it were you, and you're like, I don't have a lot of time to be on all these platforms, what would you do? Which ones would you, for this particular type of company, electrical, lamp, lighting, um, art type design, uh, what do you think that they would have the most success in, in promoting their business? Facebook. Facebook. 100%. Okay. It's your largest demographic. Okay. Your most wide customer base. It would, it would give you your ability to determine who really is buying from you. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you, you have, um, you don't have the concern over people in your target market being there. He says it's, it's high end. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me, let me, let me come back and say this. Okay. $300 pop for a light. It's not high end. No, it's not. (laughs) Not at all. And if anybody out there has ever built a house before, they know this. Yeah. Um, Lighting, expensive lighting, high end lighting starts at about $1,500 a pop. Exactly. You know, so we're not talking about really high end stuff. Um, um, But let's, let's just 
give him the benefit of the doubt that he just doesn't know his pricing right. very well. And that's another okay. thing he would have to research. Definitely research your pricing on this one uh, because because of that three hundred dollar uh, the three hundred dollar plus. I mean, if you're talking about a tiny little light. You know that's three hundred bucks. Okay, I, I get you right. But if you're talking about a floor lamp, floor lamps, things like that, that's going to be a bigger deal. So, um, but I would definitely start off with Facebook. You know, <clears throat> start with uh, our advice from before, from from last week about building your your identity and your brand. Okay, um, and utilize Facebook hard on that. Now, Facebook and and this type of this type of thing also lends very well to Instagram. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, a lot of visual media can be generated. I would focus on your uh, getting your name out there and, and advertising that way. I would actually sink money into advertising and really explore your target demographics here. Okay, yeah, you can sell pieces. Okay, um, and then as you sell pieces, continually reinvest that into the business. Yeah. Okay, use the money you generate to be able to say, now I'm going to. Uh, streamline the manufacturing process of these pieces, okay? Because if you're going to grow and scale, that operational process is going to be huge. Um, I would never worry about an eBay or an Etsy store if you don't have time to manage it or maintain it, okay? However, if you can find somebody who knows how to set it up, knows how to maintain it and manage it, right, and can work into the process for you, then absolutely, uh, start that up. I have a, a person I follow on Instagram. She makes handcrafted jewelry, and she used to have an Etsy store, but then she she started having more success just selling directly through Instagram and having people direct message her and say sold on the piece that she posted, right. and you know contact her with their you know payment information. So you know you have to whatever you have time for, you know, obviously it sounds like this person wants to spend more of their time creating the product and less time promoting it, you know, so it may be a good idea to involve another individual to help you. Um, but starting out minimally, like you said, on Facebook or Instagram, um, gets you at least started, uh, (laughs) getting your name out there. Obviously we would recommend you try to do as many platforms as you can, uh, within reason, um, because you never know where you're going to find that, little niche that's great for your particular type of business right absolutely it's it's really a very important uh point that you're going to find out pretty quickly if you pay any attention to it where your target target audience is if you even have one so putting the time and effort into uh, you you, you're not going to be able to market your new business or your new product if you don't put time into it so when you say you don't have time for all these different platforms, uh, you're immediately cutting yourself off. Yeah. If you, if you truly do not have time, then you need to work with somebody who does have the time yeah. to handle it for you. In this you. day and age, you, you, social media is your greatest tool, especially when you're starting a business. So it's very vital, I feel like, to really get out there. And if you want to throw all of your energy into one or two social media platforms to start with, then I would say that's better than doing nothing at all. That's right. That's right. And and remember uh, Teddy Roosevelt's quote, you know, in any given situation, uh, uh, the best thing to do is the right thing. The next best thing to do is the wrong thing. And the worst thing you can do is nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So there you have it. Um, that's all we've got for today. But join us tomorrow as we explore a whole other question on Reddit. And uh, if you have any questions or comments about what we discussed today, you want to give your own input, you can find us on our website at www.painpoints.com, on Facebook and LinkedIn at PainPoints, on Instagram at pain.points, and on Twitter at um, PointsPain. So uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.